Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope you're doing good. I know it's been a lot. Um, this week has been rather intense, I would say. I think many of us can agree. So what I'm feeling, and take what resonates, leave the rest, is that this week, if we want to be linear, is really us fully rising as the phoenix from the ashes that we are. And really just let our soul, our higher spiritual identity shine, which is at one with the human. So it's not just, let me try to get a light right, and it's like really hard to get light right. Yes. So it's really all about um, Anyway, it's really all about us aligning with our true authentic self. And obviously, there's a lot more to that, but that's really the quintessence. Want to say hi? Hello. Lara, my daughter, for those who don't know her yet. She's still with me. She's been here for the weekend, as my friends had built it and they will come. So she even has her own room here, so to say. The queen herself is the queen herself, the princess, Lara, the princess. You're the next generation. We still need to practice a little. No, but she does know it all. I actually. She does know some, you know, obviously, children are here to teach us, but in many different ways. Yeah, fake nails. They're better than yours. They're definitely better than mine. Better than yours. So anyway, we just we have to jump really high now and dream really big because it's really all imagination. So if we remember and let go of all the limiting thought forms and beliefs that tell us otherwise, we're all good here. We're just right now. Really loud, really? You want to bring this on here? Yeah. She totally disrespects what I do, basically. But she loves me, so it's all good. But still, a little bit more open-mindedness, open up that crown wide. So we have a lot of Kundalini, extended Kundalini, Kundalini currents, uh, activations happening, which are but the budget completing for, uh, Kundalini. 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 These are energy currents, La, that are running through your body, through your central energy column. And Kundalini gets us to kind of 9D, but Kundalini gets us to 12 and beyond, 13, 14, 15, which is what we're fully anchoring as the new organic angelic human blueprint, which you also hold, La, although you don't want to know anything about it, right? Yes, you do. Wait, what? Wait, what? Do okay. you want to be an avatar and jump and like levitate and teleport? Would you like that? I, I am the ultimate teacher, but I, no, not just. But, but what? Bye. Bye. So, bye bye. No. Settle down. I simmer down. So, no, really, I mean it. If you don't respect the space, simmer the, the freaking heck down. Touch. <laughs> down. <laughs> Wait. So, Wait. miss. Okay, Wait. your last little piece of wisdom yeah. for everyone. Yes, please. Okay. So, my YouTube will be linked in the description. What are you doing on your YouTube? That's your life. Yeah. That's and true. I'm making a video. So you can go check that out and check the description for my YouTube channel. Okay, I shall do that for you, love. Yes, you shall. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Love you too. What can you do? It's the same as like I was thinking earlier, like trying to drag her to the beach. <laughs> she doesn't want to know. She had a little bit of a cold anyway. So it's like I didn't force it today. But tomorrow I will. No. Yes, I will. Anyway, we already made that deal. But I remember myself when I was young. And she's pre-teenage years at 10. Anyway, I didn't want to really know about nature. I wasn't really that interested in it. Now I have a whole other level of appreciation. So anyway, now 
Please. Okay, I'm going to get on with this now. Please, La, stop this. Can I not do my hair? Yes, you can do your hair silently. Yeah. So, a lot of us have been feeling extremely tired and at times weakened as in like jelly. Uh, dealing with like 3D realities as in busy shopping type of um realities or you know where it's very busy town city life i find very very difficult right now i just want to like many days it was just wanting to or literally dissolving into just energy and into the everythingness and the nothingness that we all are so to keep merging with the oneness and letting everything go so totally surrendering the source which is your one true self at one with everything. Like, so Why pretty. did you take that out? Yes, it's very pretty. It's going to be even prettier, but so bye. Um, bye. So part of the extreme tiredness, feeling weak, is really a total reset of our systems, which we carry the matrix or you know the realities, the blueprints within us, which I have shared previously. Please also look down back on my other videos. Because they do, whenever you feel whatever, you need um, just a general purification, clearing, upgrading, activation to your field. This is really what all of my videos are called encoded with. So the ascension keys and codes, ascension keys and codes, navigation tips, and instruction sets for the new Tricer Sapphira Diamond Rainbow Plasma Light Bobby. So it's really, again, beyond the words we are speaking. It really is, especially now, because 5D and beyond telepathic and us really igniting fully the cosmic emerald and diamond heart network, diamond rose heart network, which is the interdimensional telepathic communication network, which really brings the cosmic reunion fully online. It's happening from within us because the whole cosmos is literally inside of you. So we're projecting everything out, ultimately. And that's what we need to remember. That it's all imagination. Everything that you can imagine is ultimately real until you have aligned and kind of collapsed the quantum standing wave function into that reality. And we are sharing one field. Always have. But so far, there has been obviously a lot of discord in between the cosmic monad in between the Essenes, in between the original tribes, which have seeded humanity. So the gray lines, which is what my monthly container is for, which I've shared before. If you are interested in still joining, there are places available. You can see the link below. I know it's late into the month of May. Just email me and we can arrange something. But truly, like, um, you know, if you're interested in a private session with me, it's really like, I mean, it's beyond the five, 45 minutes. All of them have been so far. I'm still behind and even catching up with the April container, but that's just where we're at. Because this week, I just had to let everything go. There was such a deep healing happening. And I think for all of us, again, the tiredness, we just need to surrender. And I also need the people in my group container to really, you know, support me back and really understand, I mean, we're all in this together. And... I mean, I give so much to everything and everyone the whole time, and it's beyond money. But anyway, so this is all about the return of the gray lines. I'm also going to leave a link below from Lisa Renee's latest article on Ascension. No, it's not Ascension Glossary, it's uh, Energetic Synthesis, but she has two websites. Anyway, now it ties in a lot with what I've been sharing, at least, especially in my last. Um, video cosmic energy update and what all of this is really for me about us reuniting reuniting as one cosmic family there are so many layers to this obviously which i've been trying to share a lot more of over the last two years and again thank you so much anyone who sent me any donations because i can really you know i do appreciate and you know value the support also back from the field with everything that I've been sharing and those that can financially support me back it's very much appreciated because I've been giving a lot and to everyone 
And there's been just a lot of, you know, resistance, backlash. The last video I posted took me like four attempts and 22 hours to properly publish it on YouTube. There was a lot of resistance in the field. This is the last push through for us, quantum push through leap shift to all new realities right now. Because as you can see for many of us, including myself, we had the old realities being like kind of any kind of old realities, not in alignment with our new highest um, quantum possibilities <clears throat> has been taken away from us. Now that doesn't always look nice and clean and white, okay? That comes in all kinds of forms and packages, okay? It doesn't matter where you are right now. If like everything has been taken away from you or you've been asked to jump really mm -hmm. far and leave everything you ever knew behind, you know, it's very different for each one of us. That's why you need to always tune in with your own intuition and guidance beyond all else. Because then you know what you need to know in every now moment. Okay, and it's again happening as well as we need to keep making it happen, the magic happen as we believe in ourselves in God's plan, and then we become in alignment with divine, divine will. We are God's boots on the ground. So it's not just us waiting for ascension to happen. It's you need to be the action, especially the divine masculine right now needs to be the divine action. It's not for us to just wait to ascend. It's like, this is about right now, especially as the divine unions complete everything, and again, the forerunners are fully anchored, activated this into the field collectively on behalf of all. But it's just, as this has completed, is completing, quantum completing everything from within, the, the without comes into alignment. Because this is really all about us merging the spiritual with the physical. Heaven on earth. So this is not about us just ascending out to some us as it's not about us escaping reality. For me, what I mean, Sean, this is all about us merging heaven on earth. So it's like you are kind of merging on a 7D level, let's say, what you can imagine the new divine organic creatrix field as I see it. Um uh, physicalized represented and again there are many different areas in this and it's like depending on how far your light body is ready to ascend you can move to all you know layers and levels got worse but it's like the new 3d will be like um a 5d kind of basic you know and it's again beyond the layers and levels and again tune into your own inner knowing everybody will be able to access kind of the reality within that organic creatrix field, what they have already activated within their own DNA and their quantum time codes, which are the new fire letters. And the cosmic quantum tree of life is coming fully online and the forerunners are carrying the whole cosmic blueprint. It's cosmic. The cosmic, it's it's a planetary shield, the Essenes, the cosmic Christ shield, which is carrying just God, God source consciousness and it's beyond the planetary levels. It's cosmic. Um, it's many things, and it's beyond well. So I wanted to address religion and spirituality are dead. Basically, what I mean by that is that this entails a lot of programming. In the end, it's about developing your own gnosis. It's going beyond compartmentalization, dogmatism, right, wrong, good, bad, because that's how you keep the polarized, 3D matrix reality is alive as you keep feeding that consciousness. And you need to be very careful with all of the materials out there in the spiritual and um, religious communities. You know, the information out there are based in that frequency and language. So it's like, it's like obviously, we are always, when we use language, go into that polarization, right, wrong, good, bad, past, present, future, um, us versus them, it's all of that stuff. So we have to right now be the, and that's what the forerunners have been holding, being the holy grail, 
the threefold founder flame fully embodied where you carry both positive and negative. And I've been feeling this with like feeling very high in the consciousness uh, as well as going through deep clearings and you're holding this totally within the zero point field. You're like the eye of the storm. And it's like both intensities raging or working through you and you being the holy grail point, ghoul point, and uh, again, transmuting these energies high and low simultaneously. So you're constantly transmuting the lower energies, frequencies, consciousness through the higher ones that you are anchoring in. So again, we are here to anchor higher frequency, higher consciousness, which is happening also through the, you know, Kundare uh, activation. So the extended Kundalini currents that have fully been ignited with the 555 uh, gateway. And, you know, that has brought a lot on mind and also been clearing us. So we've been feeling the exhaustion, the tiredness, the feeling really, really weak as we're being kind of totally reset all of the systems, all of the realities, the cosmic reset fully completing. And you just need to surrender, keep holding your vision as you fully surrender and let go simultaneously. It's all the both end that we are embodying. So again, the polarities within this neutrality field, which is you embodying the zero point of the divine neutrality, divine love, and oneness. You are dissolving the lower realities fully, and which is really the lower consciousness, because what are timelines, realities? They're really just consciousness projected out as, you know, like stories in a children's book, so to say, for us to learn. So we had powerful third eye crown clearings as all the energies are fully clearing. Any blocks, everything, especially pineal cages, any implants, inserts, uh, the J seals, the Jehovian seals, any inserts, implants, density, karmic load, miasma, AI, all oh, quantum matrices. It's all just consciousness in the end. And that's what we had. Okay, so... I see the disclosure again happening from the inside of us as the one. So there's no outside presentation telling us what's happening, what's true or not true. It's a knowing. It's us remembering, especially as the forerunners, the gray lines who are here to remember now the cosmic history record, not just the fallen histories. We are remembering a history where none of this has ever happened as if None of the invasions, none of the fallen consciousness that's happened on earth. Us remembering a different history, which can only happen as we fully let go, which has really happened with the last new moon a lot. That was very intense. Surrendering it all to source, let the past just go. The lessons, great. And you won't even remember as we are fully shifting, completing this, quantum completing right now. Uska, aishkana, iskara, iskara, akkara, akkara. This leads us back to heaven and earth projected out from the inside out in a magic now moment. And as I'm seeing it, we're not waiting for some like solar flash from the sun as such, although there is a lot happening on the sun, as we have seen. So it's raining and flares. It's been a little bit quieter today on Sunday, the 21st, but be ready. And it's beyond solar flares. It's we're waiting from the solar, like a beyond, um, it's a spiritual light that comes through the central sun, through our sun, through our heart, into the crystalline core, but ultimately from the God words. That's us fully connecting everything to God source consciousness. This happens through us, ultimately, the supernova of the heart event or heart mind event, um, us fully opening in true divine love and just lasting everything right on as I see it. So as I see it, this is completing in this now. Any moment now, we're there. It's for Aisha and Atta. But again, feel within. This is beyond linear time. This is quantum. Really, it is. So again, religion and spirituality are dead in the sense that the old programming. There's obviously truth in all of these teachings. But you just need to, again, it doesn't matter who says anything. You know, there is no ultimate one teaching. There really isn't. You take what resonates, hold on to it lightly, let go of the rest, and you keep expanding. Again, remember, what you believe is true now, we didn't believe was true yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, one, ten years ago. 
why would you think that right now you have found a holy grail of essential information? This is about an expansion, ever expansion and a level of contraction of the cosmic consciousness that then projects out the realities it wants to see. And this is a really big cosmic reset, okay? So spirituality is our most natural state of being. We don't need to give it like, hey, I'm spiritual, and this is what it looks like. The picture that has the picture that has been sold to us is unachievable in the sense of that it's too, you know, this perfectionism of being God just, you know, not connected to like also what it means to be in the body. So that's what we're merging. So it's like you can call it ascension of your lower bodies into the higher realms, which is really frequency bandwidth, aka dimensions, universes whatever you want to project out as the one consciousness that you are, because the total number of minds in the universe is one. The one mind, the law of one. So we all affect one another, but we're all one, and we're fully anchoring the singularity within the oneness of knowing ourselves as totally, you know, at one with God and fully sovereign and free. And it's what we ignite from within our consciousness and then project out on behalf of all. Right now, so you need to remember your mission, and this is not just about waiting for it, but listening to, you know, knowing what is your ego telling you in limited thought forms and beliefs, and what is like your higher guidance telling you, and like the, the realizing the war within, which is the last stage of the war within. That's ultimately us culminating and getting rid of all the spiritual warfare nonsense. It's realizing that all of this is you. That's the only way you can transcend it in the end, whilst you realize all these other, other levels and realities are real as well. But that, that's how we are fully clearing the astral, but it's also through the divine union of the divine masculine and feminine in the physical, because that's what they're meeting in the heart space, 4D, and fully clearing out the astral field and all the negative energies and beings fully. Because ultimately, we're just imagining all of this bullshit. And that's what they need to remember. And that they, that they hold the blueprints. Just not going to come from sitting there and wishing for it. So, just, you know, keep listening to your guidance, but know what's your ego and what's old, you know, interference playing out in the field. And which is ultimately your deepest seed beliefs, um, fears, doubts, worries insecurities you know and reality is being created by our deepest held beliefs and expectations so that's where you need to go mindfulness that's new spirituality it doesn't mean we need to be like any one thing and that it looks any one way it's like it's just remembering we are at one with god and it's the most natural thing we don't need to be any one way or go anywhere or be part of any group in order to prove that we are spiritual beings. It's just remembering what's really true because us not knowing that we are God, souls, consciousness, and bodies, that's the issue. That's what, you know, creating the havoc and these inverted realities, which are, you know, disconnected from your heart space and your knowing. So it's not about escaping reality, but merging heaven and earth. So this spiritual with the physical, which is what the masculine and the feminine are doing. And it's ultimately happening from inside of us. So this is the full return of the solar triple feminines. The Marys, the Magdalene's are rising and remembering fully who they are and everyone, everyone, everyone else too, which is the one consciousness. We are just bringing this in on behalf of all. We are igniting the true cosmic history records. As we rem remember, and as the masculine feminines that originally created creation, the original tribes, magic great kings and kings, fully remember who they are and who their counterpart is and who come together in the physical, it's all complete as I see it. It dissolves all of the mayhem. We are imagining and projecting all of these assholes, ultimately which is our own unacknowledged double body. And, you know, it's like paranoia is real in the sense of, yeah, we have been heavily attacked and fucked with. But then we need to see it, okay, where did it 
where did it all start? And it's in our own mind where we finish the spiritual war, wanton style, as one, outside of time, and space and gravity. So there's a lot of solar energy, a lot of geomagnetic activity, solar uh, storms, um, it's raining and flares. This is helping us to fully break down this false magnetic field of the false artificial matrix. They are on a sphere. This is not organic. And this is happening a lot by us reversing the poles between the masculine and feminine, especially the twin flames, where it's like the, the feminine is supposed to be the receptive energy, the masculine, the active. And it's like, I've been feeling it so deeply, like the feminine doing all this physical stuff. And it's like, where's the masculine? It's like, I know we're doing this energetically together, but it's like, this needs to be physicalized. I mean, it's like, what else needs to happen for this to like, you know, just to happen? So it's like, I mean, there's only surrender as well as like, okay, we're just over this in a way. So fully letting go of anything and everyone you know, as in like this physical rep representation of reality, any expectations of what needs to happen and doesn't happen, which we keep doing and deeper and deeper surrendering because surrendering is a big part of this. Uh, to the divine plan, to trusting one moment to the other. And it's like both ends. It's like you fully trust everything is in divine order. What needs to happen will happen. What's supposed to happen won't happen as well as you're over certain things and people not stepping up and putting action in. You know what I mean? And the feminine has been feeling like she's been carrying it all on a really big level in the physical. But the masculine is not physically there. I mean, I've had this in my own life. It's like, where's well, the true divine masculine? And you know, he's there, but he's just like, not there, there yet. You know, it's like, oh, you fully let go as well as you know, you're already there. It's both ends. And that's the same with everything, you know? Total detachment, in a way, you know, is, is absolutely necessary for everything to come in. And it's really the ones who, like, have patience, who have kept believing and trusting that this is all coming in for now. Okay, so just keep holding the vision, as well as you let go of all control, and just like, yeah, whatever. And you just know you are carried, you are supported, you are always provided for, and now the abundance fully comes in. As we realize, the abundance is us. We hold it within us and then it gets projected out. And as all the blocks, all the interference, all of that stuff is fully dissolving now, we're here. Just keep merging with that. Just keep being present with whatever arises. Don't suppress anything and we're good here. Keep following your guidance. Keep following your heart's calling. The heart wants what the heart wants. You know, there are no rules here, especially when it comes to divine law, but it's like, ah, it's all of these things at the same time. So it's like, also, the message was, God is all things. It's also anger, it's the grief, it's the sadness, as well as the joy, the love, and the, you know, the bliss, and the peace. We're holding all of this simultaneously, and everything has a place, and we keep purging and clearing whatever we need to, um, as long as it's still there. If it comes up and out, it's still there. But the more you can just observe it and not judge it or suppress it, the quicker we get to the other end, where it's like when you're weak and feel like, you know, pressured, you just know as you move through this and keep trusting your vision and that ultimately everything is aligning for us beyond what's playing out right now. And you just keep trusting and believing because every time you think things are delayed or are being messed with, it's actually us. As long as you stay in alignment, trust, everything will work out even better, okay? And that's where we are, so. As our eternal cosmic spirit body is fully merging and unifying with our physical vessel, vessel, we are merging with the higher realms and frequency bandwidths with the lower. So again, we're merging all of this, beyond compartmentalizations, 5D and beyond, way beyond. And I'm seeing one to 3D being kind of sucked up into the higher four, five, sixty in a way, and everything moving up a layer. That's also why the new sixth harmonic universe was kind of created. But again, I see us going beyond that. And it's happening through your own consciousness, because what are dimensions, realities, realms, universes, but consciousness projected out, however complicated you want to make this. And we are simplifying things now. Because complicated creations are usually based in AI deep dark rabbit holes that ultimately we need to into quantum matrixes and whatnot. So. 
as we alchemize the lower energies through the purity of our heart mind, as we remember a past tree of invasions, and as if the fall in consciousness has never happened, but with the lessons learned, where they are all new beginnings, all new realities, ignited from the inside out in a magic now moment. Any freaking second now. Let's do this. Let's make this so. Us believing the more of us can get there and delete that goal, just observe it. So any limiting beliefs, thought forms that tell us that it's not there yet, the quicker we are there. Because it's already happened and we're just merging, aligning with that already ascended diamond avatar, the one true self, your eternal, authentic self, fully ignited, fully ascended, which is all, always already ascended. It's a quantum shift in consciousness. So you know it's happening. I think we can feel it. So just let it happen as you surrender fully to the source within. And everything becomes play now as the Christ child comes out to play and make this fun. This is it. Full rising, full soaring as the phoenix out of the ashes of the old let the old fully go. As well as just, you know, dealing with whatever comes up. So trust your vision, let go of any need to control. Um, we choose to shift to the highest timelines by manifesting them like anything else. So through detachment, through, through detachment and surrender to what is our key, always. Just keep trusting, keep trusting as you dissolve your resistance to what is. So it's like our suffering is always when we are resisting, you know, negative feelings or are hanging on to good feelings. Just Keep letting it go in neutrality. Nothing is permanent. You know, in the new realities, even less so than before. But then we are rid of all these old, you know, like very heavy cycles. Okay. So just hold on to everything lightly. Especially now. So when we truly believe we are safe and supported by the universe, then that it will be so. This is the time, okay? It's like I've been feeling this. It's this feeling, I, I can feel these invasion timelines fully clearing. It's this feeling of being evicted and being driven out and like this not having a, you know, home that you just feel safe and, you know what I mean? So fully letting that go as you know, home is in the heart, home is with the people you love. Ultimately, you know, nothing's ever permanent, not a home either, obviously. But we also need to fully let go of any fears that anyone can drive us out. Even if that happens in our realities, we transcend these fears. And that's our true confidence and our, our, our only safety, our connection to source and knowing that we will always be supported and carried through. And I know we've been squeezing through a lot, especially financially lately, as all of this clears. But now comes the abundance as you fully align with that consciousness. I really like, I'm being shown and I can feel it. And I think many of us can feel it too. It's our time now, but we need to make it happen by believing in the soul and in our power, especially the more of us believe in it. It's the whole consciousness field, the whole dream field. Bless you. So you need to keep making the choices. You need to keep jumping high. You need to keep following your heart's intuition, whatever it means right now, okay? And the higher self, I mean, God's soul is taken over. That's just that one way or another. So when we truly believe that we are safe and supported by the universe, then it will be so. Many are being tested in their faith. That's also what I share. And it's just, I, I've been actually guided to add a few more days, just like I've been in such a deep healing mode. I had to let a lot of stuff go this last week and just fully let go and be in that moment. And I know everything will be fine. And yeah, I'm just adding some more days because it's very nice and quiet here as well. And yeah, anyway. so not with me. Yeah, but it's like without you, I feel all like kind of empty in here. Mm -hmm. And no kitties, no kitties. So anyway, that's a whole other thing. But yeah, it's weird not having actually something else to look after physically as well. Yeah, yeah. So look at the face. So, but then that drives us more into self-care. But lately, it's, it's just been a lot of resting and holding everything, you know, obviously a lot of date work, grid work, activating. Like, I feel at times literally turning into just light, liquid light. That's what's happening. You just can't see it just yet. In any moment now, it's reactivating. Okay, our multidimensional DNA. 
So this ex tiredness and all of this is clearing all of the residue of the old on all layers and levels, as well as, as activating the multidimensional DNA, the divine blueprints, diamond rainbow plasma light body, my Kaaba vehicle, the rod and staff codes, you know, it's so much, it's just all quantum completing. So I think I will leave it at that. I have more. Um, just, so the fear of rejection, abandonment, not being lovable, that there's something wrong with us, with, wrong with us, not feeling attractive enough, feeling unwanted, or having issues with shame, guilt, you know, all of that, makes us self-sabotage our relationships mostly unconscious so we all do this you know self-destructive self-sabotaging behaviors we just need to let it all go ultimately just surrender to source because it will be guided by your new self which is fully rising as one it's a happening again as well as you need to align with this and be willing to surrender most um so the resting again and sleeping more and whatever it's just it's you fully being powered up now and everything fully igniting. Superpowers, remembering the new, rea new realities. If the magic is here, but be the magic. Believe in the magic to make it happen, okay? And just know most of our realities have been co-created by the unconscious, collective unconscious. And we came to make it conscious, which we did. Heal all of the you know, ancestral lines, the tribes, the families, the one cosmic family from inside of us through our own healing work journey and healing the fragmentation within us and we here now notice that's what i see keep seeing and we just keep quantum completing so just keep healing acknowledging going into whatever arises any fears anything remaining our central nervous system has been receiving a total overhaul that's a deep peace healing also happening which also makes us very tired and again this clears the way for all the multidimensional plasma light body activations crystal body cosmic quantum tree of life the crisis of the diamond rainbow plasma or light body the auto crystal sophia albion body in the creates within us and cosmically ignited okay it's the whole Divine organic creatrix, weird, full multidimensional access, nothing less. What else would God play with? So just know everything is part of this. Keep trusting the process, keep trusting your guidance, okay? Um, let go of all limiting inverted beliefs. Let's see, letting go of all these and dissolving these um, inverted realities. And it's happening outside of time. Remember, it's going to. So, I need to add that. So, just remember the big picture heals, and it's really what's healing us and shifting. You know, what's healing us? It's us, us looking at past events, you know, traumas, wounds from a different perspective, bringing forgiveness in. And this is what sets everyone free, isn't it? It's a difference in perception. So, again, as we change the way, way we look at things, the things we look at change. So we can see the blessings in all of these experiences. That's how we learn. You cannot be afraid of making mistakes or being hurt or learning, you know, through that. Because again, that's duality, polarization. It's like, that's, you know, how we also learn. But you also need to believe that now we can learn through joyful experiences. You know, it's the opposite of what we have been through, basically. So there's no suffering when there's no resistance or attachment to the bad or the good feelings. Neutrality. That's you at one of the God mind. Uska Aishkanat. So right now, there's a deep need right now to stop, you know, we don't need to be perfect. What has been sold to us by our environments, parents, teachers, bosses, partners, media, society, just let it all go. You are perfectly imperfect and we always will be a masterwork in progress. Let it be. Okay. But it's about you aligning with your true authentic self and you reach a point where you have done enough feeling and, you know, you will constantly align and, you know, heal to a certain level or just, you know, align to higher states of consciousness and beingness um, where you feel like, okay, I can deal with whatever comes my way. And this is all about right now us feeling like we need to be physically together with our soul family, cosmic tribe. This is all about a cosmic reunion. Yeah. So I know that's what I'm here to bring in. We have already brought in energetically. It's already happened. So my masculine feminine, the cosmic mother, father, fully merged, unified in the organic union. And we're just fully anchoring this, activating this in the field planetary and cosmically for us all to reunite within the 
one consciousness within fully having here the fragmentation of the cosmic monad of the Essene gray lines of the original founder races, tribes, guardians that have seeded humanity, the original star races, mm. indigo gray lines, whatever you want to call it. So just when transcending any remaining fears, just be okay with the worst case scenario, go into the fear, don't push it down. And you will realize if, as you play with the realities, it's just imagination. Just become okay with it. Lose your resistance, hanging on to anything good or bad. We just know that you will always be okay. You will always be okay. It's always like everything is always working out for me, even if in the moment it doesn't feel that way or we have fears and doubt and where it's coming. Know your security is coming from your connection to God. Okay, any last words? Because we're done here. Yeah. What? Make sure to go discuss yes, okay. and check on my channel. Yes, okay. Now, remember, all new beginnings are here now. Our new heavenly realities fully ignite now, all from the inside out. Just be fully present in the now. Okay, really. Don't resist, don't hang on to anything. That's how it really moves through us. Okay, just observe. And then focus on the highest without any attachment to outcome. Okay, and it's all being fulfilled through us as we fully, fully align with our highest uh, God soul self, with our highest guidance always. And yeah, let's let just your heart carry you through all of this, your inner guidance. That's all you need, your connection to source. That's your security. And everything comes from you, okay? Through your heart. It's literally just a pure heart's intention. That's the main thing. The basics are very simple, okay? So thank you so much, so many blessings. Thank you so much for your support, sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting. 2133, 333. Because it really helps me. There's been a lot of shadow burning. There's not been a lot of like interference playing out. Any donations, any support. Okay. Thank you so much for being here now, for doing the good work. All your support. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So many blessings. And let's have fun with it. This is our rising now. Bye. 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 Magical sparkles.